used a little bit of rocket damage to not only accelerate slightly, but also just do just enough damage so he could deny the small armor. He wasn't expecting Dewey to be just around the corner, so he positioned himself too far to deal optimal damage, and it allowed Dewey to set up a beautiful trade, taking a big rocket there, and another one to seal the deal. He's gonna call the GG 10 seconds early. Played in Quake Live, QLTV, they had King of the Hills when I was probably 11, 12, 13 years old. And so I, I competed in some of those. My first official kind of professional tournament was the 2017 World Championships. And then, so basically three years of, of professional competition. Rafa, <laughs> it's not even close. I mean, the, it's, it's the thing about him is like, um, is you can beat him and and he it's like uh, machine learning you know you beat him once and he like absorbs it and then you can't beat him that way again you know there's a few players that are similar but uh they're more maybe emotional or they have some other quirk about them than rafa like the only way you could beat him is if you execute perfect wow rocket jump after <laughs> Wants dude to take enough damage that he's not looking where he's going. But there's the oh. mutual frag. Then he went in all like that. Right? It's a little shock. I don't, I don't think he obviously would, wouldn't have done that if he had proper timing on heavy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So Dewey bringing back. Oh, that's gonna feel spooky for Dewey. Yeah. He is around. Nice, nice little orb. Dewey had to respect that because it was certainly viable, but with 3 HP, able to pull, yeah, pull back the round. And again, he's done this, and... I'm a very driven person. Um, I'm, I'm finishing up my master's degree in finance in two weeks. And, um, you know, I work full time, so I, I compete, work, and, and I'm married. So, um, I have a lot of aspirations, um, you know, for my career. And I think with, with gaming, kind of where I want to be uh, as a competitor, it's just, I, I, I enjoy the process of competing. Have the exact um, time I really mega. enjoy the psychology of competing right and having to stay Given even he doesn't know exactly when over he doesn't extended periods of time. I think it adds a lot one to one my personality. And Dewey knows that um, but I think long-term in gaming, you know, either in some sort of uh, finance capacity, as orgs get larger, they're going to need a lot of the M and A and FP and A type of stuff that I work on in my in my day job. Um, either that, or or as as a as a part time coach, particularly on on the mental side, and and I think that's valuable because most games, regardless of if it's you know Quake or or CS or Valorant or whatever is going to be the next FPS there's similar characteristics that players have to have to be successful and a lot of them are coachable like a lot of those characteristics you can train over extended periods of time if given enough time the so i think um, you know it's either going to be inside a game it's either going to be you know in a, in a corporate capacity long term or in a, in a coaching capacity where i'm working with individual players and uh and helping them kind of get over their mental humps. Pure aggression, considering they're both on the same I think stack. failing as hard as I did in baseball right. and like, you know, not having the, the success that I wanted taught me a lot about how to, to develop and how to prepare and how, you know, to come up with game plans and things of that nature. And you just learn, you learn a lot by being around people who are better than you. Outside gaming, um, right now it's a lot of like uh, stuff around the house. Like we, we recently bought a house, so um, I like I like yard work. Um, that's actually becoming like a hobby of mine is, is taking care of the yard. And um, I think like, you know, when I was younger, uh, you know, it always seems like it's work. And, and then it's like, then it's yours and you're kind of like, well, it's kind of nice to like have a nice looking yard and like you want to take care of it. So um, that's actually becoming a true hobby, um, a, a, like a true hobby. And, and I have had an issue where like all of my hobbies become obsessions. And that's kind of becoming like a true hobby where I like to do it, but I don't need to do it all the time. Like I don't need to do it every second of every day.
I'm Dewey, and I'm your nemesis, but also your friend. I'm, I'm also very friendly. <laughs> <laughs>